Today I'm going to do a Game Pass video. So Game Passes are great for one-time purchases for a game. It goes into your account every time you play the game. You have access to what you purchased with the Game Pass. And it's usually items, but it doesn't have to be. Notice how I'm running like at a regular speed. But I made a Game Pass for speed. Let's go ahead and hit it. There we go. And let it load up there. My computer's pretty slow. Bra. All right, so we got the speed pass. I hit OK. This is going to disappear because I no longer can buy it. I already have it. And every time I play the game, I'm going to be able to run real fast like that. I thought that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get started. You could do this with weapons, accessories, anything that you want in Roblox that you can program and give to a player, you can use a game pass for. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get a game, right? So you got to get a game, you got to save the game, and I call this one Run Pass Video. Hit your save, then you can go to security and you need to allow third party sales. Click that. You'll get a warning if you don't have it and you try and get the Game Pass working. So it'll tell you to click this. That's nice. That's a nice feature of Roblox. New, newish. Let's hit save. And now we're going to go to our website, our Roblox website. We're going to go to create. And I know they change this like every week. So you might have to hunt around a little bit, but this is hopefully not too much different. We're going to go to the run past video. That's the game I made. So look for your game, manage experience. And then down here under associated items, Cool, you got your badges, your passes, and developer products. Let's go to passes, and we're gonna create a pass. There we go. And you can upload an image for your game pass, or you can just keep it that gold bar, or that gold ticket looking thing. And I'm gonna call this run pass. Give it a little description. Allows you to run real fast. Go down here, create pass. Cool, now it's not on sale yet. So it says off sale, right? Click on it and then you'll see sales over here. I fumbled there for a minute. Item for sale, you have to give it a price. Uh, let's give it, let's give it one, right? We don't get anything for one though. So if you wanna get Robux, then you're gonna have to make it greater than one. But you might have to delete this a few times. So keep it at one so it doesn't cost you too much. It takes 70%. Let's hit save changes. And there we go, it says successful. We can go ahead and look at the inventory of our player and we own it. So if you make the game pass, you are owning the game pass. So when you start out, programming know that you already have it that's going to be a little bit tricky i'm going to delete it but just remember you're actually going to have to pay a robux every time you try and get it in the game when you're testing it not in the studio in the studio it allows you to do it for free but i'm going to delete from inventory so i don't have the game pass in in my account there we go and then i can buy it now before you go anywhere we're going to need this number right here, right? So the two, three, six, four, five, that one right in there. So I'm gonna do a control C. If we go back to our run pass, you could see that it's the same number up here, right? But not this one, right? This, this last one. All right, now I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna go over to my game and in starter GUI, we want to make a button that we can press to get the game pass. So I'm going to hit the plus sign, screen GUI, plus sign, text button. I'll get back to that in a minute. Plus sign, local script. And then let's go ahead and paste that number. I'll make this a little bigger. Let's paste that number so we don't lose it. Let's go ahead. I'll just comment it out. That way we have it, right? That's our game pass number. Let's go and move this to a place that looks a little bit better. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time messing with the buttons, but I will call this a uh, game pass button or how about run pass BTN. You can certainly decorate this button however you want. I'm just gonna do a few simple things. I'm gonna scroll down to the text area. I will change the font because I like 
bangers font. And then the text, you can make it like bypass or by run pass, whatever. I'm just gonna call it run pass, run pass. And let's make the text bigger. So I'll do text scale, cool. Let's go to our local script and we'll change the name to like award, right? So we're gonna award the, the pass in this script. Double click here. Now we're gonna do a lot of this stuff on the server side. I'm gonna do a lot of my checks on the server side, but we have to send a message to get the pass here. All right, so let's get a few variables. This is my run pass ID. So I'll make this run pass ID equals. I'm gonna need my marketplace service, game get service, marketplace service. I'm gonna need a player. And we can get the player from the game get service player service if you're in a local script you can do that right local player there we go oh and we need the the button itself we can call it like uh how about gp button for game pass button we only have one game pass so it's not that bad we'll do a script dot parent whoops dot parent let me move that i'll do gp button dot activated connect to a function and I'll get my marketplace service prompt game pass purchase. Now I don't really have to do the checks like I used to because Roblox is good at making it so that you don't buy the same game pass twice. Used to not be that way. You have to check to see if the player owned it. We're gonna to check to see if the player owns it on server side, right? But you could do that again here. I think I'll put my code that I did the demo. I'll make it copyable so you could see how I made the button disappear and stuff for safeguarding, but you should be okay with this. So our prompt game pass purchase we're gonna need the player and the run pass ID. This is gonna prompt the purchase if the player doesn't already have it. All right, now, in server script service, you might think we need a remote event. We really don't. Let's add the plus, hit the plus, I mean, add a script, and let's say we're gonna do this in the game manager. How about game MGR? And we'll get our marketplace service again on server side. So, oh, and we need the run pass ID. Let's actually copy those from the award. These two, we'll need these two lines. Copy, paste, nice. All right, so I'll get a local function and I'm gonna call this process run pass result the player will get passed in and a boolean whether we have the pass or not let's fill that in in a minute or two when we enter the game we got to check to see if there's a pass so i'm going to say game dot players we have to check to see if we own the pass i should say player added connect we're gonna get a function with a player in it because it's the player added event that we're connecting to. I'm gonna get the player dot character added event because when we die, we want to reward the run pass, right? And that's in the humanoid, so if we die, we'll lose that speed. So I'm gonna do this character added event also. I'll connect that to an another anonymous function, and we'll get a variable for has pass, I'll initialize it to false, nice. I'm gonna wrap this in a P call. I'm gonna make a call to user owns game pass async, but that's an asynchronous call. So I'm gonna wrap it in a protected call to see if I get a success back, to see if the call was successful. We're also gonna get a message for status. So this P call, We'll call an anonymous function, which sets has pass based on the marketplace service user owns game pass async call. Here we're gonna need the player dot user ID and then the run pass ID. Run pass ID. 
There we go. I'm going to make this. Should I make this bigger so I can see it this way? That's good. That way we don't need two lines. I'm sorry if that's crammed up. We can fix that later. But I want you to be able to see the uh, the whole line. What else am I going to do? Oh, okay, so we're going to make this use your own game pass async call. And then we're going to check to see if the call was successful. Doesn't mean they own the pass. It just means the call was successful. If the call was successful, we will process our game pass result. Right? So far, and if you were going to give an item, all of this could be the same. Here, we're going to pass the player, not the player ID, but the player. So don't let that get you, right? This is the player with the user ID. This is just the player. What else? Oh, uh, we could have gotten an error, right? You may have forgotten to turn this on right here. And this would be precisely the message that you would get if you did an error. MSG right here. It would say, hey, turn on your third party sales. And then you would know that's pretty convenient. All right, so this we got to do, right? Process run pass result. This is where you'd give the item, you'd give the speed. We're going to do speed, right? So we'll say if has pass, then local will get the char from the player, right? We pass the player in. So we'll have the player dot character. Well, he could have been dying or something. So let's go ahead and check to see if the character added event fired. If not, we'll wait there. That way, char definitely has a character in it. We'll get the humanoid from the character. We'll say char. Whoops, char. Wait for child. Oh, I hate when the IntelliSense stops working. Wait for child. Humanoid. All right, and then if we get the humanoid, we can say hum. Oh, we'll do walk speed. We'll just make it plus equals 16. We want them to run pretty fast so we can see it for the video. Now, if you wanted to turn the button off, you could do that. You could do like a remote event to turn the button off, like to make it invisible. Turn button invisible. All right, so what else happens? If we bought the pass at some point, we're going to award our player that uh, pass with process run pass results. But when we buy it, the first time we buy it, how are we going to know that we bought it? Let's go and get the game pass service dot prompt game pass purchase finished. Right? If we capture this event, that's going to be the completion of the purchase of the game pass. And it'll fire even if you cancel, but we're going to check for that. So we'll say player, we got the pass ID. We're not going to use that, but we will use has pass. This is going to be the success if we bought it or if we didn't buy it. I'm going to have to go to the next line for this. All right? You can keep it all on one line, but I want you to all see it. Oh, man. You know what we need to do? I'm going to go right here, hit the enter, and notice that that end was created. All right. Now, if has pass and we can check to see if the pass ID exists then process run pass result so we're going to have to give him our running stuff when he buys it not just when he enters the game and this isn't just entering the game when he dies we are going to uh, process that game pass so that he'll have the run after he died too this should work. So let's go ahead and try it out. Now remember, you can't really get the game pass in Roblox Studio. We're going to have to try it out with Roblox Player, but I'll do this first. All right, so we have the run pass. Let's take a look at our output window. All right, no errors. That's good. Run pass. Would you like to buy run pass? Uh, yes. And it says it wasn't, it's not going to be uh, charged to your account. It is only for the purposes of the game. Ah, uh, there we go. We got a run, run pass. If we die in studio, we're not going to get that run pass back, right? Because you don't really own it. It's just a studio thing. So if you come back, you're going to run slow. And you're going to be able to buy it again. But in the real game, you don't have to worry about that. Let's try that out. 
So I went to my run pass video on the Roblox website. I'm going to hit play and I'm going to try it out. I'm going to pause the video while I'm doing that though so it doesn't get boring for you. All right, I'm in my game on the Roblox player. I'm going to hit F9 so I can bring up my window so I can see stuff. All right, you could drag it to make it different sizes. If that's too big. We just want to be able to see stuff. And you have client and server. I'm going to keep it on server. All right, now I'm going to hit my run pass ID after I check that I'm going real slow. Oh, let me get rid of that. I'm going to check that I'm going real slow. All right, I'm going to get my run pass. And now you're actually going to buy it, right? So if I hit the one row, Roebuck, oh, I lost it. But I, get, I did get my run pass, right? There we go. Now we're running fast. And you can make this uh, run pass button disappear. Let's try and hit it again. See what happens. Do we buy it a second time? Oh, our error. You already own this item. Your account has not been charged. That's good. It would be better to make the button disappear, but I want to keep the video kind of short. It's already getting kind of long. If we die, what happens? Reset character. Look at that. Still got it. If we leave the game. All right, so I'm going to leave the game. And then I'm going to come back. I'm going to pause the video while I'm coming back. There we go. And I'm in the game. I still have it. Cool. We're going to buy it again? Nope. You already have it. You already have that game pass. You don't have to worry about it. So that's pretty cool. And you could do it with a weapon. I'm going to do it with ammo on my tools and accessories playlist. I wanted to introduce it with something different though. Like maybe maybe the run. Nobody else does does stuff like that. They usually give items, but I will give items in other videos. I will see you in the next video.